For decades, Boeing has seemed to have an unshakable grip on the global aviation market, from its mighty 747 airliners to its cutting-edge F-35 fighter jets. But while the United States has focused on dominating civilian skies and expanding its commercial reach, Russia has been building something else entirely, an aircraft designed for speed stealth and survival at the edge of space, the MiG-41. But why is Russia building such a plane, and how can it challenge Boeing's dominance from such a distance? Let's find out. Boeing's dominant position in aerospace has been largely driven by its remarkable achievements and innovation in commercial aviation, where the company has consistently pushed the envelope with aircraft like the 787 Dreamliner and the 737 MAX. This focus on commercial aviation innovation has generated strong and steady revenues, enabling Boeing to maintain leadership in fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and advanced manufacturing techniques, such as the extensive use of composites and digital design processes. However, this commercial success has come with a trade-off in Boeing's military aerospace strategy. Over the last decade or more, Boeing's approach to the defense sector has been more conservative, favoring incremental upgrades and modernization of legacy platforms, such as continuous improvements to the F-15 Eagle and F-A-18 Super Hornet, rather than pursuing entirely new, groundbreaking military aircraft designs, or investing significantly in emerging supersonic or hypersonic technologies. This conservative posture contrasts sharply with competitors like Russia's Mikoyan Design Bureau, which has been aggressively innovating in next-generation aerospace technologies that challenge traditional concepts of fighter performance and mission roles. Mikoyan has invested heavily in hypersonic weapons and aircraft systems pushing boundaries in speed maneuverability and stealth that could redefine air combat and strategic deterrence. These advancements include experimental hypersonic vehicles and weapons that showcase a strategic emphasis on aerospace sovereignty and battlefield dominance via speed and advanced materials technologies areas where Boeing's public investments and development initiatives have been limited. Boeing's dual focus has created a safe zone where its robust commercial aviation business balances the comparatively slower pace and risk-averse character of its military aerospace efforts. While this strategy has ensured steady profits and maintained Boeing's position as a global aerospace leader, it introduces the risk that Boeing could be outpaced in critical military aerospace domains, especially as emerging technologies like hypersonics and new materials, science, become essential for future combat aircraft and strategic platforms. The shifting geopolitical and technological landscape underscores the necessity for Boeing to accelerate innovation and investment in military aerospace fields to preserve its comprehensive aerospace dominance. Failure to evolve rapidly enough risks, ceding strategic advantage to more aggressive competitors who are pioneering the next frontier of aerospace capabilities, potentially reshaping the global balance of military air power in the coming decades. Boeing's historic legacy and trusted partnerships remain formidable assets, but long-term leadership will depend increasingly on its ability to balance commercial excellence with bold, forward-looking military aerospace innovation. Don't forget to support us by dropping the like button, clicking subscribe, and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss any aviation information from us. Thank you. The MiG-41, developed under Russia's PAKDP program, is an ambitious next-generation interceptor designed to replace the MiG-31. The program began in the late 2010s with the external design finalized around 2019 and full development entering the prototype stage in 2021. First flight is expected around 2025 or the late 2020s with operational deployment targeted for the late 2020s or early 2030s. The fighter is capable of speeds between Mach 4 and 4.3 with some predicting speeds as high as Mach 5, potentially making it one of the fastest military aircraft ever built. It is designed to operate at near-space altitudes up to 100,000 feet. 
allowing it to intercept hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft like the US F-35, and even satellites reflecting its mission focus on airspace defense. To achieve such speeds and altitudes, advanced engine technologies, including upgraded Saturn AL-51 engines and possibly ramjets, or combined cycle engines, are being considered. Furthermore, the aircraft is equipped with advanced materials such as titanium carbon composites designed to withstand the extreme temperatures from air friction at hypersonic speeds. Expected weapons include next-generation long-range missiles like the K-77B, along with proposals to include anti-satellite weapons and sophisticated AI-enabled targeting systems capable of dealing with a variety of threats beyond radar range. One of the more speculative features is the concept of plasma stealth, in which ionized gas envelops the aircraft to absorb radar waves, potentially rendering it invisible to radar at supersonic speeds. Defense systems could even integrate laser weapons to neutralize incoming missiles, improving survivability in high-threat environments. This Russian project builds on Russia's legacy of previous high-speed interceptors such as the MiG-25 and MiG-31 taking their capabilities to the next level with futuristic technology aimed at high-speed long-range air defense superiority. In short, the MiG-41 is an advanced supersonic interceptor with a wide range of capabilities. Speed, stealth range advanced weapons, and near space operations positioning it as a ghost from the future designed to address emerging strategic threats in modern air combat and air defense. Boeing's response to the challenging rise of the hypersonic space fighter has been a combination of continued conceptual development and cautious progress, rather than a complete operational overhaul. The company has been exploring hypersonic aircraft concepts for both military and commercial applications unveiling reusable hypersonic vehicle designs targeting speeds around Mach 5. These efforts include military roles such as Strike Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance, or ISR for short, as well as commercial ambitions such as rapid global travel or a space launch platform. Since around 2018, Boeing has been introducing hypersonic aircraft concepts that aim for more realistic designs with shorter wingspans, improved fuselages, and the integration of advanced propulsion systems. However, most of these concepts remain at the concept or prototype stage with technical, economic, and environmental challenges still unresolved. Boeing's experimental X-51 Wave Rider program achieved significant hypersonic flight milestones but never transitioned to an operational platform. Internal factors such as delays related to the 737, MAX crisis, the overcapacity of the KC-46 tanker, and changing corporate priorities also limited the company's ability to fully pivot and realize the full potential of hypersonic military aerospace. However, Boeing's advanced research and prototyping divisions, such as Phantom Works, continued to focus on groundbreaking aerospace technologies, including the development of reusable turbofan engines to enable repeat hypersonic flight. Recent partnerships, such as with Australia's Hypersonics Launch Systems on sustainable hypersonic vehicles, demonstrate collaborative efforts to innovate on propulsion and materials. Overall, Boeing is focusing on incrementally advancing its hypersonic research and development efforts with advanced concept vehicles and partnerships, while balancing commercial aviation priorities and enterprise challenges. While it has not yet created a direct counterweight to the MiG-41's goal of an operational hypersonic interceptor, Boeing is working to build a technology platform that could underpin future breakthroughs in hypersonic aircraft for both military and civil applications. This response underscores a strategic roadmap focused on building on current enabling technologies for integration into future hypersonic systems that have not yet been deployed. But is Boeing wisely reining in its strategy or is it falling dangerously behind? Share your thoughts in the comments. The strategic risks to the success of the MiG-41 program are significant and multifaceted. 
first, Russia faces economic and industrial constraints that could limit the development deployment and maintenance of the program. Given the high complexity of the technologies involved, such as hypersonic engines, plasma stealth and advanced materials progress depends heavily on Russia's ability to sustain significant investments amid ongoing sanctions, supply chain disruptions, and budget pressures exacerbated by ongoing geopolitical conflicts and economic sanctions. Another risk lies in technological uncertainty. The fighter's ambitious capabilities, such as sustained Mach 5 4 speeds with a predicted Mach 5 capability, hypersonic missile interception, and potential anti-satellite capabilities are at the cutting edge of aerospace engineering. Despite official statements and prototypes, actual operational readiness remains uncertain due to challenges in weapons integration, thermal management at hypersonic speeds, and propulsion technologies such as scramjets. These hurdles could cause delays or technical problems, especially when similar efforts in other countries such as the United States and China have encountered obstacles. Furthermore, there are industrial and logistical challenges. Russia's defense industry has historically struggled to scale advanced projects from prototype to series production. The Su-57 fighter, for example, has suffered from delays engine problems and limited production capacity. The MiG-41 faces similar risks with the possibility of only limited production due to funding and production bottlenecks, making it an expensive and technologically risky project with an uncertain future. In addition, international strategic factors pose risks. The success of the jet depends on its acceptance and implementation within Russian military doctrine, which is under pressure from broader geopolitical and economic factors. It risks becoming an ambitious project if technological breakthroughs cannot be reliably achieved or maintained, which could undermine its credibility and strategic value over time. In summary, the main risks to the MiG-41 include economic and industrial constraints, technical and engineering challenges, development and production delays and geopolitical uncertainties that could hamper its operational deployment and strategic effectiveness. The MiG-41 represents a revolutionary shift in air superiority, extending dominance to the very edge of space and fundamentally redefining modern air warfare. It operates in near space, allowing it to intercept threats such as hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft, and even satellites. It combines advanced stealth features, plasma, stealth AI-assisted targeting, and an arsenal that includes hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles, anti-satellite weapons, and directed energy systems such as lasers to neutralize incoming attacks. This design philosophy shifts air combat from stealth-based evasion to rapid preemptive strikes that arrive before an opponent can react. Unlike traditional fighters built for the skies, the jet aims for dominance at the global strategic level, protecting Russian airspace with an impenetrable supersonic shield. Its ability to function as both a fighter interceptor and a strategic reconnaissance platform underscores its unique role in modern defense. The development of this aircraft signals a military doctrine that values unparalleled speed range and multi-domain capabilities making this fighter not just a fighter, but a symbol of the future of aerospace warfare. While Boeing has excelled in commercial aviation and military advancements, Russia through the MiG-41 is positioning itself as a leader in the race to control the next frontier beyond the edge of space. In other words, it is a testament to this vision promising unparalleled dominance in the air and near space with speed and power that could redefine global air superiority. Have a great flight. Goodbye and see you again.